Hello, my name is Paul, and thanks for joining me as I explore and try to discover some of the amazing wildlife that can be found on the Falkland Islands. Volunteer Point is a peninsula off the northeast coast of East Falkland and about an hour and a half off-road journey from the nearest track. Home to the colonies of three species of penguin, the Magellanic, the Gen 2 and its most renowned, the King Penguin, which we were informed on arrival it had their first chicks of the year hatch just the day before. Joined by some of the locals, we snapped our first shots of the King Penguin. The colourful king penguin colony consists of around 2,000 breeding adults, up from just 30 in 1971, after almost being wiped out in the 19th century for their oil and beautiful feathers. Point taking us about um, an hour and a half off road driving, but it doesn't disappoint. We've got some really uh, beautiful looking king penguins and a few chicks as well, which is good to see. King penguins in the wild live for around 20 years, and their breeding cycle lasts over a year, meaning they can only have two chicks every three years. Around November to February, a single large egg is laid and the parent share incubating the egg on top of their feet underneath a fold on their lower abdomen for 55 days. This is a crucial stage and should they be disturbed, eggs can be lost if they roll from their feet. After the chicks hatch, the parents work in shifts every four to nine days, brooding, then guarding the chick whilst the other goes to feed. After a couple of months, the chicks can be left on their own in creches, with parents returning infrequently to feed them over the course of the winter. Relying on their body fat during this time, the chicks will lose up to half of its body weight. By the second summer, November to January, these fluffy chicks begin to moult into their adult plumage, some very amusingly. After which they will leave for the open sea, not returning till four to six years old to breed. The parents then spend around a month on land to moult, before also heading off for a well-earned year-long break. A good place to moult is down by Volunteer Lagoon, where they can be observed splashing around losing those last few feathers.
The King Penguins are definitely the star of the show here at Volunteer Point, but for me, I have a soft spot for the Gen 2 Penguins, especially the delightfully entertaining chicks, and there just so happen to be a colony right nearby. The fluffy, squishy, gentle Gen 2 chicks are very inquisitive little creatures, and once you've been spotted, they are sure to come waddling over. They just can't help themselves. They initially approach enthusiastically, and then start to form an orderly line. But no one wants a back row seat at the show, so not to be outdone, one brave chick steps forward to be a bit closer. begins. But there is always the exception. Keep our eyeballs, we up sticks and move further around the colony. Spotted. And the process starts again. Forming a neat line. Until eventually you can zoom out no further. In hindsight, maybe it was because I used one of them for a microphone cover, and they are simply launching a rescue to free it from my camera. You can't come to Volunteer Point and not visit the beach. A pair of upland geese grazing. Being so plentiful on the Falklands, these geese can easily be overlooked, and actually, they have some pretty good markings, I reckon. We continue down to the beach, disguised as penguins. Loads of beaches here are lined with sea cabbage, where the beach meets the grass. Not only does it look quite pretty, but you'll never go hungry. Down on the beach we were met by rock cormorants, who had decorated some of the rocks white. Joined by another, we looked out over the golden sands and vast sea, pondering as we did so. We watched the penguins come and go, with the sand blowing across the beach like mist. Earlier, when at the King Colony, we failed to spot the newborn chicks, but feeling refreshed from the beach, we decided to head back and try again. And I'm glad we did. We could see something, not an egg, poking out from under the fold. And holding the camera against the wind, we caught a glimpse of the freshly hatched King Chick. First the bum, and then the face, then the whole thing its mum's embrace. Or dad, I suppose it could be the dad. Coming up in episode 4, I fly off to the fascinating Sea Lion Island, where I come face to face with the Cara Cara, sea lions, elephant seals, and more penguins and their crazy ways. Plus, much more. So, I will see you then. <laughs>